Wild animal overpopulation is becoming a real concern in many parts of the world. Species like wild boars, foxes, and wolves are crucial to the ecosystem. But when their numbers grow unchecked, the consequences can be serious. Take wild boars, for example. They can destroy farmland, damage local ecosystems, and even cause car accidents. Foxes and wolves? They might prey on livestock, creating economic stress for rural communities and emotional strain for farmers. So how do we manage this in a way that's both effective and ethical? One widely used approach is regulated hunting. And it's more than just sport. It's a science-backed method of wildlife management. Hunters are licensed, seasons are controlled, and limits are set based on population data. The fees collected often fund conservation, land maintenance, and biodiversity research. Legal hunting, done right, helps maintain balance in nature. But let's be clear, not all hunting is the same. Illegal hunting or poaching is destructive. It's cruel, unregulated, and often targets protected species. Poaching doesn't help ecosystems, it harms them. But hunting alone isn't the answer. A well-rounded strategy includes non-lethal methods too. Fencing farms, using guard animals, sterilization programs, and reintroducing natural predators can all play a role. Education is just as important. Helping people learn how to coexist with wildlife, not just control it. We're not trying to get rid of wild animals. We're trying, we're trying to live alongside them responsibly. With the right tools and mindset, we can protect both communities and ecosystems. Ethical wildlife management is about balance, and that benefits us all.